I'm Jim Gibbs, primary owner of Dynamic NC LLC here in Rose Hill, Kansas, just south of Wichita, Kansas. We're a major structural OEM manufacturer for heavy metal, titanium, and aluminum components for aircraft. About 18 months ago, we purchased a, the F9 Vertical Machining Center to facilitate the rough on a certain project. It was 13-8 uh, um, hogouts for a Gulfstream platform. As we moved into our new facility, we purchased the A92 to facilitate the finish operations on it, along with two additional T1s that will help the finish and rough operations on our 13-8 hog out parts. At the beginning of 2014, we purchased uh, two Mag 3 EXs to expand our capabilities to the aluminum market. We won a major rib package for an OEM manufacturer, and the cost associated with this led us to the Mag 3s to produce the parts at the lowest overall cost. The equipment that we produced most of our parts on before was vertical um, equipment that m utilized multiple setups to do one particular part. Um, the, the T1s allow us to produce the same part with less setups, less variation, and uh, reduce our labor content in that. We can also go to the unmanned or unattended machining of hard metals even during rough. The components are a multi-axis part that needed access from all sides of it, and in particular on the horizontal. Most horizontals won't reach over the center of the table to do anything, so the T1, the travel is very specific, and the travel envelope is much bigger than you find on existing equipment. We was allowed to produce um, a lot of the components on the T1 in one setup and drill all the holes on the side and have access to all areas of it, including reaching over the middle of it. And it's also very rigid in all them states. You can, you can rough parts with the same machine you can finish on, you can drill holes in the side, you can actually finish bore holes, and we find it much more efficient to do that than to move it from operation to operation. The machine is about the capability and the processes it allows you to complete. If this machine will allow me to run unattended through the middle of the night without any worries, rough and steel, rough and titanium, and this machine don't have the capabilities to do that, I have an instant process that I can, you know, pay for my capital on, reduce my cost, give my customer a, a better, cheaper product, and I've automatically outdone my competition on it. But the, the machine itself is one component of the process. And when you have the piece of equipment to produce the part properly, it opens up a whole wide variety of new processes that you didn't have before. And if you don't have that, you cannot cut parts on a vertical machine better than I can cut them on a T1. There, there's no way. So if I have a T1 and you have 50 verticals, I'm going to win every time. I can produce parts cheaper than you can. I can produce them with less tool cost, less labor. And, you know, I can have one guy run three, four, five T1s compared to you have one guy for every vertical machine that you have. So... It's, a, it's about the process oriented to the cost associated with the product, not about the cost of the equipment itself. We chose Makino over other equipment because Makino's reputation, not only in the value of the equipment, but also the reliability, the service department, and the amount of unattended machining that we could. The technology involved with Makino right now has surpassed any other manufacturer that we've seen.